Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. So this video is for everyone that has a upcoming graduation to go to or for all my graduates. If you want to help your family out and make them some super easy graduation t-shirts for your ceremony, this is the video for you, hun. This video is super easy. These t-shirts are so easy to make. So you know what? Enough said. Let's get into it. The only supplies you're going to need is a pack of dark transfer paper, a scissors, and an inkjet printer, and of course your t-shirts. I'll be sure to link everything down below. Now to make these t-shirts the same exact way that I did, like always, head over to my website www.createyourdreams.com. You're going to go to the top where it says t-shirts. You're going to hit that. Then you're going to go to where it says t-shirt transfer designs. And underneath that it says graduation designs. Go ahead and click that as well. Now all of my graduation designs are not up yet. I'm still adding. But the ones I use in this video, you're going to scroll down to where it says proud mom in golden black. I also use it for proud dad as well and then i also did the 2022 in the gold color so you can pick whether you want png jpg or svg so go ahead and pick whichever file you want and add to cart so i'm going to add proud mom and i'm going to go back and i'm going to go ahead and get my 2022 in the gold color and my coupon code for my graphics because mostly all of my graphics are buy one get one free so the coupon code that you're going to need, I'm going to link that down below, but it's called T-Shirt Designs in all capital letters. So I'm basically just going to show you guys how to check out. So once you have your items in your cart, you hit check out. Once you go to the checkout page, go to where it says discount code and go ahead and put in that coupon code T-Shirt Designs and hit apply. Once you put that in, the buy one get one should pop up immediately and it'll take off you know basically buy one get one you buy four you get four so yeah so there it goes i went ahead and took off one of them for free and then just go ahead and check out like it basically it's a regular purchase so once you check out these are instant downloads you will see a download bar pop up under your graphics go ahead and hit that once that opens up download your images whether you're using your cell phone your laptop your tablet just go ahead and save the images to your device so once you open it to save it these are how the images look the PNG files are transparent background so if you're not using a cutting machine if you're using heat transfer like me it's best to use the PNG because you don't have to remove any background of the image so now that we have our images I'm gonna go ahead and save it and I'm going to show you guys how I size these using PicMonkey now you could print the images as is but if you want to make some of your images smaller or larger I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm going to go ahead and log into my PicMonkey account if you have Canva you can use Canva but I'm a PicMonkey girl so I'm going to show you guys using PicMonkey so once I log in I'm going to go to the top where it says create new and then go to blank canvas once i get in there i'm going to scroll down to where it says print sizes the print size i'm going to choose is 11 by eight and a half which is regular standard u.s printing size that's the size that the transfer papers are so we're going to print on that size paper so once that pops up, it's going to pop up as a solid sheet of paper, 11 by 8 and a half. So I'm going to go to the top bar where it says add image and look for the images that we just got from the website and go ahead and upload those into our blank sheet or into our space. So I'm going to go ahead and do the 2022 in gold on camera as well as the proud mom. Once I do that, then you can figure out on your own because it's super simple how to do proud dad. But I'm going to go ahead and upload both images into my pick monkey. And then once you upload the images, each image is going to pop up over there on the side, which makes it super easy. And then to put the image into the center of your black sheet of paper, you just click the image one time. But I'm going to go ahead and find my proud mom and, go and upload that as well. So now that I have both images uploaded, I'm going to do 2022 first so i want to do two of them on one sheet of paper one thing i hate doing is wasting transfer paper because it does cost the kind that i use the cost so we don't want to leave too many white spaces okay so i went ahead and click 2022 and i put one in the center one on top i'm sorry then i'm going to go ahead and left click and do copy and paste 
and went ahead and added another one and just dragged that down towards the bottom of the sheet of paper. That way I fit two on one sheet. And this is the perfect size for basically all adult t-shirts. Now that I'm happy with my design, I'm going to go to where it says download and go ahead and print that. So after, I'll show you how everything looks after it's printed. So after I finish with that and print that image, I'm going to go ahead and delete the 2022s and we're going to go ahead and do our proud mom. So you click that once and then it go ahead and pops into the center of the sheet of paper just like 2022 did. And once it pop up in the center, I'm going to show you guys how to size it, how to make it like larger or smaller. So if you don't like an extra small adult shirt, you probably, this, this might be the perfect size the way it is. But if you're doing a larger shirt, you might want to make it a little bit taller, a little bit wider. So once you click the image, a little square box pops up around it and then it has circles on each side of the square. So you can go ahead and drag those circles to make it taller and to make it wider. Now, one thing you don't want to do is make it too too wide because you don't want to basically go too close to the edge of the sheet of paper on all sides because when you print it it'll cut off some of the image so this is perfect I'm gonna go ahead and print this as well and come back and show you guys how everything looks once it's printed so I printed everything on my inkjet printer and this is how it came out the black looks dull because it's not ironed on yet once you iron it on the black becomes really dark but this is how everything came out here's our 2022 with both of them on one sheet, which is a perfect size for our t-shirts. And the t-shirts I'm actually going to be using is the Proud Dad is a large. I believe the Proud Mom is large as well. And then I also did Proud Sister, and I believe that was medium. So yeah, these are perfect graphic sizes for our t-shirt sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out by hand, and I'm going to speed this up a bit Okay, but I'm going to come back and show you guys how everything looks when it's cut. Now, when cutting these out, because I am using white t-shirts, you don't have to cut into the black outline. You can kind of cut around it and leave a little bit of white trim on the edges of the design because the white is going to blend in with the white t-shirt. Now, one thing I would say is if you were using a color t-shirt, then you definitely would want to use a cutting machine because you want to get rid of all that excess white that's in between the numbers and around it. But I do have a trick that I do that if you don't have a cutting machine and you're using color t-shirts, then you can definitely still um, cut it out where you won't see any of that white on the outside or in the middle. So I'm probably going to do a separate YouTube video showing you how to cut it out by hand with using a color t-shirt and how you can get it to look like you actually use a cutting machine so definitely stay tuned for that but i'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these out and then i'm going to go come back and show you guys how it looks and then we're going to get ready to iron these on <music> So now that our images are cut out, we're going to go ahead and prep our t-shirt. This is the large, I believe this is the one for Proud Dad. These t-shirts I got from Walmart, they must have been on sale for about $3. So yeah, I'm first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and get a lot of these creases out. You don't want to do a iron on on a wrinkle shirt because the wrinkles would, basically, your image is going to iron on wrinkly. <laughs> trust me i have learned through trial and error you don't want to iron these on with with wrinkles in them whether it's for you or you're making it for someone or you're making it to sell just you don't want to iron it on with any wrinkles so just go ahead and run the iron over it and get out as many wrinkles as you can i'm going to take a piece of tape and roll it into a circle basically or you if you have a lint roller you could use a lint roller this is just like the cheap ghetto way of doing it so i just basically wrap the, the tape around on the sticky side and just go ahead and take off any pieces of hair any little pieces of debris anything small that can be on a t-shirt that you might not see a lot of times i've ironed on images and then i've seen like a piece of hair melted into the iron on and i can't stand that 
So I'm going to go ahead and clean the shirt off and iron it again. Make sure it's smooth. And after I iron it, or after you iron the shirt to get the wrinkles out, let it cool for a few minutes before you start to put your heat transfer on. So after it is cooled, and I'm going to clean it off a little bit more. After it's cool, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of our heat transfers. I'm going to grab the graduation cap because that goes on first. And I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart but off of the backing. But first thing first, we're going to line it up. In the center of where we want it to be now the center of your t-shirt if you don't know is where the tag of your t-shirt is that's where the center of your shirt is so you just line it up right under where that size and tag is and that's your best bet for finding the center of your shirt so I'm gonna take a small um, clothing pin very small one and just push down one edge of our transfer design and that will separate the transfer design from the backing that it comes on the, the backing that is printed on basically and just go ahead and pull it apart don't pull it rough you don't want to tear your transfer okay it don't really take a whole lot to get the image off of the paper so you don't got to drag that thing off just go ahead and pull it lightly and separate it now that it's separated i'm going to go ahead and line it right back up to the center of my t-shirt on top and go ahead and place it and flatten it you want to make sure there's no creases no wrinkles no folds because when you put that heat on there it's it's stuck you can't go back and fix or change anything so make sure it's centered and make sure that it's laying flat so now that i have it centered i'm going to go ahead and grab a sheet of tissue paper your pack of transfer papers come with tissue papers or iron on papers you cannot iron on your images without using this paper so go ahead and put that over your image okay do not touch it with no heat unless you got that tissue paper on top of that image trust me i learned the hard way okay so i'll go ahead and put the tissue paper on top and then just go ahead and iron on and I'm going to show you guys how you can tell when your transfer is not finished when you have to add more heat so I'm going to pull up my iron and I'm going to pull up the tissue paper and show you guys how it looks when you need to add more heat okay you see how it has some kind of dark black and then the rest is just still looking very bland or i call it the ashy look or kind of blotchy okay that's how you know you need to add more heat the black the dark black means that those areas are finishing or they're close to finish but all of that ash all of that blotchy that means we definitely got to put some more heat if you are new to doing transfer papers what i suggest you do is while you're ironing just go ahead and lift up one side you can check while you're ironing it on you don't want to do too much heat because you can actually burn your design and when you're new to this that w probably will happen in the beginning but i don't want you guys to waste supplies and stuff so while you're ironing on your image just go ahead and keep on flipping up and checking like what you see me doing and wherever you see it's blotchy wherever you see it's not dark enough just go ahead and keep on adding some more heat to it so this doesn't take long to be honest with you it takes about a minute maybe maybe a minute and a half to do a full paper design on a t-shirt but it does not take long so i'm just going to go ahead and apply more heat and then i'm going to show you guys how it looks once it is done <laughs> So now that our first image is done, this is how it looks. I told you guys the black would get a lot darker once the heat is applied to it. So this is how it looks. It looks perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and add our 2022 underneath our proud dad. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull the t-shirt up. And then I'm going to go ahead and also iron underneath our first image a little bit don't iron on top of your image but iron underneath it if you need to to get some more creases out before we put on that 2022 okay <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now that I have prepped the bottom of it, I'm going to go ahead and grab our 2022 and line that up to where I want it to be. Now, I am using my ironing board. One thing I suggest you use is a larger space or larger surface to do this. Don't use your bed. You want to use a space that's sturdy. It's best to use really your, either a sewing table or just like a regular kitchen table because you want to be able to see the images all together because you want it to, just, to be able to lay it out wide enough where you can really get an understanding of where to place your images on the t-shirt so i'm going to go ahead and peel off our 2022 and i'm going to go ahead and put it where i want it to be on the t-shirt which is a little bit not even maybe a half an inch under that proud dad you, you know i don't want it to be too far down because i don't want it to look too spaced out so i want it to basically be in the center and about an inch under where i put the proud dad now when it comes to your designs, you do it how you want. This is just how I felt it will look best. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tissue paper on our image and then go ahead and iron that on as well. Now be sure that if you need to use two tissue papers, because your pack of transfer paper comes with more than one tissue paper. If you need to use two so you can cover up your other image, go ahead and do that. But since I've been doing this for some time now, you know, I just know to just iron on our bottom image and that's it. But if you want to be on the safe side, go ahead and cover up your top image with a separate piece of transfer paper as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and iron on the 2022 and then I'm going to come back and show you guys a full image of how the t-shirt looks hung up. <laughs> So here is how our proud dad shirt looks hung up on a hanger. This is actually the large size t-shirt and it's by a company called George. I got this t-shirt from Walmart. So yeah, this is why I like using two separate papers to do the design because it looks really large and really nice. If you only use one transfer paper, the design is going to come out really small. It's okay to use one if you're doing like a child's t-shirt but for an adult size t-shirt, you definitely want to put the designs on two different pages of transfer paper. So yeah, this is how the large t-shirt looks. It looks really really good really nice looks like you went to a t-shirt shop and got this made rather than making it on your own but yeah and the supplies all together to do one t-shirt when you narrow it down the t-shirt cost one sheet of transfer paper and your printer it probably run you about four dollars to do one t-shirt as opposed to paying fifteen dollars or more to get a t-shirt made so yeah these are how the t-shirts look once i package them in plastic and t-shirt bags and put them on my sewing table so yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys with this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give this a try. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed and give me a thumbs up. I will definitely be putting up more DIY t-shirt designs for you guys if you're into this. So yeah, definitely check out my website for my graphics. I'll leave as many links as I can down below. So thank you guys. Congratulations to all my 2022 graduates. You did it. Alright, God bless and take care.